Hello everyone, Sons and Duck 2, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Mods Command. The mod that simply adds in the ability for you to use commands to interact or find out information about certain things. So, we've got uh, first up the slash mods command, which allows us to just find sort of general information about mods that are listed. I don't know if we can find out with other pages. I can't that way, but you can with mod for a specific one. So you go feeding trough and find out the information about that one, such as the different websites you can go to for different purposes. I assume type means mod loader, as in fabric or using fabric API or other dependencies, maybe something along either of those lines. Uh, who created it, the license it has, a description if one is provided, um, and the version number and the mod ID of it. Um, oh, that's how you select multiple pages. Whoops. Um, so you can see it's sort of technical mod ID name there. A bunch of others. Uh, we can also go... We can do page this way and then just select one. So we can just go back to page one if we want to. By commands, instead of clicking on the arrow, we can go search. Just go, I guess, animal feeding trough, and that'll say that it's found that result. I don't know if I have to present it exactly this way, that would be my guess. Uh, I couldn't find anything of that sort. If I just go animal, it's going to find that. Um, yeah, I'm assuming that's it. Animal. It's still going to find it even without the the name, so as long as you've got all the right letters and spacing, you'll be fine then. Get rid of the zombie real quick. Uh, what else do we have? We have... Of course, let's see... Mod commands dot that, so we can dump mods, apparently. There's dump client mods, which is allowing us to particularly what? So list and get information about them, dumping, dumps the list of them, the information to a particular file, the directory when used in game, the contents of the file can be copied to a clipboard if you wish to use it. This is a diagnostic command meant for aid in creating more useful bug reports. So if you want to do that, you can. Um, so if I, for example, have maybe issues with a certain mod, I can do that. Uh, children, I assume, counts also child mods, at a guess, or some other information. Um, does not have any child mods, yep, that uh, makes sense. We'll just go to this, and that'll just give us that information there again. Um, uh, let's see, slash dump mods, compared to client mods, what have we got here? Can I just go, like, for example, let's go here. Am I going to, no, is that just a general? Save the list of mods to such and such in directory, copy it to clipboard. So if I, for example, go, I don't know, just to here or something, what do I get? So I get a list of all of them that were included and information related to that. I know I'm doing it in a, a search bar, I'm going to like an actual um, thing, but I'll just go... Where does that appear? Does it just appear in... Here we go. Installed mods YML. So this is where it obviously stores it. Um, I don't know if the mod already generates one, possibly, or the command itself when you're using it generates it. Um, so that's all the information there regarding those. What launcher I'm also using and everything else there. Uh, let's see, we've also got client mods. Slash client mods, which will display all of them there. Is there any other information I'm missing? We can search, etc, etc. Um, so if you want to, I assume, search for client mods compared to server mods, you can do that. Um, what else we got? Same as that for dumping client specific mod information. Uh, there's also the mods command conf, uh, which would be in here. Uh, 
uh, which is any hidden mod IDs, apparently. So I assume if you want to hide some, then you can. Maybe, probably more so intended, I guess, for libraries and such, I'd guess. Um, or maybe other particular ones, if need be. But that's about it, as far as I can tell. Just a few commands related to, obviously, um, client side, or just uh, finding out information related to them and all that sort of stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye. And I guess a way of viewing certain information without, like, pod menu or certain other stuff, possibly. Obviously, this goes only so far as well. Okay, details a fair amount, technically. So, yeah, but I guess if you want it in chat form or on a clipboard, then you can you can do that. Or for bug reports, of course, in the case of uh, the uh, uh, mods part there. Thanks so much for watching, though, and goodbye.